Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be installing an irrigation kit for our garden. Um, we have this kit off of Amazon. I can post the link to it in the description below. It came with two different style nozzles. These are like uh, spray out little streams in a fountain type, and these are adjustable. Can Supposedly they can mist or spray a stream. Came with some fittings, uh, the quarter inch tubing. Fittings to adapt it to a, a faucet or a um, spigot for like a garden hose but in our case we are running half inch tubing to the garden so I bought a half inch to a uh, faucet adapter that we're going to use try to use hopefully it, it seals but uh, take you to our hoses here this is the half inch hose supposedly slides inside of that and then it'll go up to our faucet. Here. And this will thread onto there. I have this hooked up to the faucet. I ran it over here and then under the stone and then actually underground from here. Kind of see where used a like landscape edger and just split the ground kind of lifted the sod up a few inches down <clears throat> and then ran it back to our garden and it comes out right here my plan is to tee off of that and come up every post with the quarter inch tubing and uh put a nozzle at the top and see how that works here's the tubing fittings So the fly line from the faucet comes underground, pops out here. I put a T in. Get this leg. It's gonna go to here. Get this upright. Your nozzle. And then it's gonna carry the whole way down to the other end. And then every post is gonna have a quarter inch line going up it with the nozzles. Using this heat gun to heat these fittings up because they're really hard to press onto this T. But they're meant to go on. That little bit of heat really helps.
Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to cut. Uh, I want the first nozzle to be three feet up off of the dirt. And then the second, I'm going to put it two feet up. Tubing is pretty hard to get on there. Once you heat it up, it Tends to go on okay. Try this one without heat just to show. It almost doesn't even want to start. A little bit of heat to it. Goes right on with heat. I cut these little pieces two inches long. The plan is to put it on here and then crimp it over and then zip tie it to seal it off since these nozzles only have a T on them. I don't know if this is going to work or not. That should work. Cut that off. So that's 
that one. Okay. I made these for the end of the half inch irrigation line um, and these are just these come with the fitting kit for the half inch it's just you fold it over to to cap it off basically seal it off uh, we'll see if it leaks or not I'll hook it up here in a minute but right now I'm just assembling the vertical quarter inch tubing with the nozzles to the T's so these will go in the half inch line and then these will tee off of it going up the posts. This is the finished product. These wire holders to hold the hose in place. Uh, you can see it comes up off of the T into that half inch line. The first one's at three feet up and the second one I cut at a, an extra two feet. Um, but that post is about four feet so that you can see there's some extra there in case I have to raise them. Uh, there's a set of nozzles up every post. I'm going to try to orient these so that they cover the whole garden. And that's it. Um, this is the end of the half inch hose where I had to crimp it back onto itself. Hopefully that does not leak. I'm going to do a leak test. Uh, but uh, I'm going to end this video here just because it's below freezing. Uh, and it looks like the forecast is going to stay below freezing overnight for a while. So I'm going to do the the leak test and uh, test these nozzles out once we lose these or once these freezing temperatures go away. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching.